Não se me dá que vim de mãe, vinhas que eu já vim de mãe. Não se me dá que outros logrem amores que eu rejeitei. Não se me dá que outros logrem amores que eu rejeitei. Fui um ano a Vindima, pagaram-me a trinta reis. Dei um vintém ao barqueiro, fui para casa com dez reis. Well, this year was a, a very interesting year because Torriga Nacional, which is normally a variety that's actually not that resistant to, to heat and water stress, um, performed remarkably well. Um, something I've had a little bit of difficulty understanding, but we're very pleased to find. Um, and actually the Torriga Nacional uh, during this vintage has been the star without a doubt. And it's not only managed to overcome uh, the heat and um, it also maintained a lot of uh, acidity, which uh, would often be a problem in a vintage like this year. I was particularly pleased with some of the wines that were produced at Malvira. It had a tiny vintage. The vintage was very, very short. I don't remember such a short vintage at Malvira, but the tiny yields that we had at Malvira um, were were ideal for producing hugely concentrated, very structured, big wines. And some of the some of the parcels, particularly the plantings of Nacional and Suzanne at, at the very top of the property, and uh, and some of the east-facing uh, stone terrace blocks were exceptional. We knew that we were on for an early year. Um, and we started picking, uh, in some cases, right at the end of August and, and in others at the beginning of, um, of uh, September. Uh, in that sense, the, the ripening this year, due perhaps to the high temperatures, was more uniform. Not only uniform amongst uh, different varieties, but more uniform uh, between different properties. So the differences in, in the timing of the vintage uh, were, were um, smaller than is usual. expect you know a good week or 10 days between uh, grapes being ready in the Dodo Superior at Vesuvius using the Ribeira and then here at Bonfim um, perhaps 10 days later and it generally in the Sima Cor uh, there was a general um, overlap of ripeness in, in it geographically but there was also a certain overlap of ripening in terms of the actual varieties themselves so um, the Torriga Francas and the Torriga Nacionais um, were uh, often ready at similar times, um, which in some ways was quite interesting. It allowed us to co-ferment quite a few uh, Lagares with Nacional Franca, um, something that not, not, not often is possible. So that, that was a, an interesting side to the vintage. It's br brought in a, a new variant to the vintage, which I think could be quite interesting in the final wines. Um, and certainly from what I've seen so far, looks impressive. Very hot vintages like this are almost tailor-made for a property like Cavadinha. Cavadinha is a higher line property with an east-facing exposure principally. And those two factors in a hot year like 2020 are almost ideal for good ripening, big structured wines coming out of Cavadinha, but also due to its altitude, the freshness is still there. Um, I think some of the aromas that I was feeling when I went into the Cavadinha winery were really extraordinary. Fonsotto this year had a, had a vintage which I would say was very different to the vintage we're having in the Durek. On the one hand that the conditions there have been far closer to what would be usual without the excessive heat that we had in July and August here. The vineyard uh, has produced fairly average quantities and the quality seems to be very good. 